Hello and welcome. This is Eric KJ for YZI with Ham Radio Concepts, and you click the video to watch and learn. Before you go any farther, click the button right below it that says subscribe and turn on notifications. When videos like this are posted, they pop up in your email. It's like magic. And you can also follow on Facebook.com slash Ham Radio Concepts. Believe it or not, for the subscribers that follow me that have been doing a radio a lot longer than I have, there are people that are just getting into it. And that's something that a lot of people find hard to, to believe. Yes, being an Elmer is a very important thing in the hobby to teach the newcomers and educate them on this kind of stuff because they just bought an HF radio. Nobody instructed them or gave them any insight as to what to buy or what they're going to do with it. So now they have a radio and they think, well, I never hear anything or I don't know where to go to listen or what band will do this and what band should I use for this. So with this new 10-part mini-series, hopefully in five-minute videos, I can explain to you and teach you a little bit about each one of the bands, when you can use the bands, when you can expect them to be alive, what you will find on each band, because not all bands are created equal. There's something to offer from each band for each individual radio operator. And I'll throw in a little experience that I've had on one of these bands, just to give you an idea of what happens. So without further ado, follow along in these next videos if you're a newcomer of the hobby or hey, if you're one of my subscribers that's been doing this since before I was born, who doesn't want to see this beautiful face on camera every day, right? So check out these videos and follow along. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think and what you've learned. And let's get into one of the favorite bands I have, my most used band of all time, 10 Meters. Congratulations on that shiny new amateur radio license. You're now a technician class operator. You're one of us. But some people may think all you can do is VHF and UHF through repeaters with a dual band handheld, and that's incorrect. Actually, some of the test questions were about the 10 meter and 6 meter band plan. I have a couple 6 meter videos on my YouTube channel you can check out about the magic band. 6 meters is by far one of the craziest and best bands there is. But we're talking about 10 meters. Great place to get started on VHF, UHF, but also a great place to get started on HF with 10. As a technician class, you have privilege to work worldwide DX. Some of the most extreme DX I've worked is on 10 meters. So let's look at this chart here from the ARRL site. This graph I circled here to make it easy for you. The 10 meter band spans from 28.0 to 29.7. Now that's a wide band comparing it to something like 17 meters. As a technician class, you are authorized to use from 28.0 to 28.5. A lot of stuff happens there. In the red portion from 28 to 28.3, Ridian Data, PSK31, FT8, Olivia, Contestia, Hellschreiber. I have videos on a lot of those digital modes in my channel, and you can operate those worldwide with low power and a, just a, a wire antenna right here. Also CW. You can do CW down here. There's beacons down here. The beacons are always in the lower portion of the band, and you can use those to listen to check for propagation. Sideband phone, again, upper side only, 28.3 to 28.5. That's a, a bit of, of uh, room there for talking, and generally the calling frequency is 28.4. Some guys don't like when you sit on 28.4 and call a CQ. Some people do it anyways. But... In here, during a contest, this is jam-packed from 28.3 to 28.5. There's When this band is open, there's a ton of people to talk to. And you'll find action somewhere above or below 28.4 is where you want to hang out. But you can scroll up and down. A lot of European stations are up on the DX stations are up toward 28.5 and such. Now, if you're a general, advanced, or extra, starting at 29.0 gives you 10 meter AM, which is another video coming up because I love 10 meter AM. And 10 meter FM, which I have several videos on, from 29.5 to 29.7. Repeater operation, simplex operation. Check out the videos to see that. But I love 10 meter AM and FM. But you have to be a general. So as a tech, sideband from 28.3 to 28.5 and digital mode here. But when can you expect to see the 10 meter band open? Typically, it's a daytime band and peaks starting at the end of spring into the summer months. Now, there have been times where 10 meters was open before the sun came up, and there has been times I was on 10 meters till 1 o'clock in the morning. It just depends on the solar cycle, 
the sunspots and the atmospheric conditions. But typically, with my homemade graph here, looking at it in November, it's not going to be as active as it is in June. Usually around field day time, it's 10 meters open every day. And it could start when the sun comes up. More or less, my experience has been after noon. Once you hit 2, 3 o'clock, it really starts cranking until about 7 o'clock at night here in Florida. That's just how it happened for me. There is a slight less intense opening between Christmas and New Year's. So that's always a possibility. But more or less, end of spring starts climbing into the summer months. And it can be, of course, worked any time of the year. But this is generally where your activity is for this band. I'll put the link in the description for West Mountain Radio. They have an easy antenna calculator on their website. Instead of going into a future video on how to build a simple dipole, you can use this to quickly see. If you're a technician, how big of an antenna or how long do I need for an antenna for 10 meters as a technician? All you do is type in the center frequency roughly of what you can operate on 10 meters and you hit calculate and it will show you roughly 16 feet 6 inches for a half wave dipole. 8 foot 3.2 inches on each side. And then you could trim accordingly to the portion of the band that you want. You don't even need a tuner. That's a whole nother video. So you don't need an acre of property in a $500 antenna to become a technician class and enjoy 10 meters. So 10 meters is a mixed bag. You'll find every kind of person there. 10 meters offers people that want to get on a rag chew for a half hour, people that want to rack up contacts with DX stations, people that contest, people that don't contest, people that are on daily when there's openings. There's a lot of different things on there. Um, normally on 10 meters, you don't find the same click every day that sits on there and doesn't invite new people. What you find is a new person to talk to every day. Now, there may be people using it in their area every day at a certain time for rag too, much like I do with other guys north of me on 2 meter simplex. But 10 meters offers a whole mixed bag, and it's great fun. It can be worked mobile just as easily as it can at the house. I've worked many a station 10 meter, 10 meter mobile, and the antenna is only, a quarter wave antenna is only 8 foot 3 inches. And actually, you can see on my channel how I turned a 20 meter ham stick that I got for $2 at a ham fest into a 10 meter whip, and it worked flawlessly. So that is your 10 meter lesson for the newcomers and for anybody that wants to watch. Thank you for watching. The next one up, 12 meters. So keep, in, keep subscribed and keep following. 7-3 from KJ4YZI.